Thanks for joining us today as we take a look at the selection filter within SOLIDWORKS. And no doubt, if you've used SOLIDWORKS for any period of time, you've probably inadvertently turned this on. You know it'll be on because your icon will change from the standard pointer to the pointer with the selection filter on. So as you can see here, as I'm toggling it, this is with the selection filter off. And here it is with it on. Now, to turn it on and off, it's either one of two methods. You're either hitting a hotkey for it, or you're picking it from the toolbar. All right. So, to turn on the toolbar, you simply hit F5, and that will toggle the display of it, like so. Now, F5 will show the toolbar. F6 will actually turn this on and off. Or you can, again, hit the hotkey to turn it on and off. Now, there are some default hotkeys in here. If we take a look, vertices will be V. Edges I don't have toggled right now, so I'd remove that hotkey for me. But that's typically E. And then faces is X. And what this will do, if I just toggle on faces, I can only pick faces. Notice I can't pick an edge here or a vertice. That's the point of these filters, to help you quickly pick what you need to pick without trying to stumble through multiple selections, especially if items are all together. Now, if I just turn on vertices, for example, that's all I can pick here. I can't pick this face, no matter how hard I try to click. I can only pick vertices. And, of course, same with edges here as well. Now, there's much more than just vertices and edges. As you can tell, you can pick surfaces, solid bodies, axes, planes, midpoints, etc. There's a whole bunch of items in here you can pick. So if you find yourself always trying to get one certain item, why not add it to a hotkey? It's simple enough to do. All right. So dowel pin, routing points, etc. All you have to do is come up, customize, like you're used to doing with your regular hotkeys. Go to your keyboard, find the command you want to put for the filter, and then just assign it like you normally do. So that's selection filter in a nutshell, real high level overview. Again, you probably, if you've used this inadvertently, turned it on and off. So hope you get a little bit out of that. And any questions, feel free to give us a shout. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining.